Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the sick stream. What is up, Mr. Nappy? You are one of my first Twitch supporters, and it's so nice to see you back here again. How you doing, man? Sorry you haven't been here in a while. That is quite all right, man. Life things, I perfectly understand. <laughs> Trust me, I understand. I've been sick for like a month, and I haven't been streaming nearly as much as I would like to be. But today is a decent day in terms of the sickness, so I'm hoping to stream for a good while today. Also, I just love this game and I want to play it all the time. Okay, we got rain tomorrow. Today's luck. Not the best. Spirits are somewhat annoyed. Queen of Sauce. Pizza! Holy crap, guys. <laughs> We're getting a recipe for pizza. There's a reason pizza is a timeless culinary classic. You got an artisan golden brown crust, you got a tangy garlic infused marinara sauce, and you're topping it all with a mouth watering three cheese blends. And we're just getting started. Let's throw some fresh pepper and tomato on the top. Oh my. We learned how to cook pizza. I gotta I gotta know what that requires. Hold up. Just gotta find it on here. Which is always the challenge. There it is. Wheat flour, tomato, and cheese. Those are not the easiest ingredients to come across. So, yeah. All right, the farm. Oh, I only got two lightning or uh, battery packs from the lightning storm. I feel like it should have been more than that. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. Evelyn, she gave us cookies. What a sweetheart. Alright. Um, this stuff is done. Kale. Getting a little bit of hay from it, too. These ones aren't done, though. Interesting. And I never replanted this stuff from yesterday, so I gotta do that. How much kale is this? Eight. And then another eight, 16 kale. It's an odd number. Uh, I, think, I guess because the rest is up here. But why isn't this one done today? Very odd. All right, well, the high quality ones are getting sold. Throw the rest in here for whatever purpose I might find for them. We'll stick the cookies in the fridge. Yeah, it is very nice to play a chill one every once in a while. Like, I, I need that in my life. And all the potatoes are done too. Oh, jeez. I've got a lot of seeds to buy today, guys. If you were watching yesterday, you know that uh, I was freaking out because I thought that there should be strawberries available to buy right now, and I couldn't find them. Turns out I was wrong about that. I don't know where I got that notion from. I must have got it crossed in my brain. I'm just going to water the dog here. <laughs> He's, he sat right on top of it. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking of. I got something crossed in my brain, but I actually looked it up. I won't lie to you guys, I did, because I was like, this is driving me nuts, and I want my strawberries. And I guess you can only buy them at that egg festival. So, yeah. You gotta buy them, and then I guess probably the, the right way to handle that is to hold on to most of the seeds for next year so that you can start growing them right at the start of the season, which sucks. Because that's like a lot, that's a long time to hold on to those for. But yeah. God, how many seeds do I need, guys? 16 over here. 24. 32. Plus 24 here. 
is 56. And then... One, two, three, four, sixty, sixty-four? Sixty-three or sixty-four, I think? I might not have counted that exactly right, but we'll figure it out. Nope. Oh, okay. Not a problem, Nappy. You, you stay in lurk mode, buddy. Do what you gotta do. I'll just be here, working on the old farm, such as it is. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not entirely sure why I'm holding on to all those right now. It's nice to have some of that stuff on tap in case somebody asks for one as part of a quest. And someday I might also end up... Uh, running them through a, uh, a preserve jar or something like that. Make them worth a little bit more money than they would have been otherwise. Just being sure everybody's pet. Now let me see. I can't remember what I need for this. I need a large brown egg. And either large goat milk or just regular large milk. Man, I wish I could finish this out. That'd be so nice. Actually, I do have a large brown egg. Okay. So there's that. And then I just, I need to, I just need milk. <laughs> and we'll have our greenhouse reward, which would be amazing right now. Those are really the only eggs I got today. All right. Hey, uh, Lucker Dog. I'm not sure if you're watching or if you'll see this, but thank you very much for the sub. Sorry, the follow. Oftentimes I mean follow, but I say sub, and it's because I spent like six years on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the follow. So, let's see. Let's actually head south first. I'm going to check the traveling merchants and probably go farm the hardwood today. If I get insanely lucky, guys, the traveling merchant could have some milk for me. Jazz, I know you like these. No. So, take that. Take that! Phoenix right. <laughs> Okay, she's got pumpkins, wood fence, shad, jelly, bug meats, coconuts. I'm not gonna buy the coconut because I can find those easily enough now. VGA Paradise is furniture. I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna buy it. I will buy the rare seed. No milk, sadly. If there's any stores where I could buy milk. I don't think Gus sells it. Alright, get out of here. Totally whiffing on this, but it's still counting. Alright. <laughs> Honestly, guys, you know what? I was planning on upgrading the coop before I upgraded, or before I bought a barn, but knowing that all I need to finish off that bundle is milk, I might actually go for the barn first. That might be a smarter play for me. Okay, let's go drop this stuff off. How 
much hardwood do I have now? I've got over 300. Oh, that's good. That's more than I thought I had. That's going to be very helpful. All right, let's head into town. He's just hanging out down here. There you go, buddy. It's very rare to see him just standing still somewhere. Oh, the mayor's gonna be in my way. I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. No one ever runs against me when it's time for an election. I like to think that it means I'm doing my job well. Uh, it really just means you have no competition. <laughs> I like being mayor. I mean, I guess you could argue that you don't have competition because you're doing a good job, so, yeah. But also, you won't get out of my way and let me look at the calendar, so I hate you. Alright. Let's give... Let's give Jody this. Oh, I forgot she hates daffodils. Damn it. I bet Pierre likes them, though. Kent, how would you feel about a dandelion? It's kind of you, the family will like this. Oh, that's a real man right there. He's like, I don't give a shit about this, but my family will, so thanks. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's cool. Alright, I'm not entirely sure what to buy here. I didn't do any beans this year. I maybe should do, like, at least eight of those. And if I use the medium-quality sprinkler, then the trestles won't block themselves, so... The trellises. I corrected myself, Dale, when you watch this in a month, okay? <laughs> How many community bundles do I have left to complete? Um, not many. I, I think it's really just that one pantry bundle with the animal products and then the bulletin board stuff. In fact, I can go in here and show you. In the pantry, I just have this. I'm about to put in a large egg, so I just need one thing of milk to get my greenhouse. And then the only other one is the bulletin board in which I have a number of bundles to finish in here, but I'm close on most of them. Sorry, I'm scrolling through these kind of quickly. I only need red cabbage for this. I only need a rabbit's foot for this. I only need one more apple for this. I have two apples, I'm just missing one. And then for this, I need the maki roll, which I might be able to make now. <coughs> I'm not sure, actually. Uh, the truffle, which we'll get when we have pigs. And I have no idea where to get a fiddlehead fern. That item is a total mystery to me. I have no idea where to get it, how to get it. So, that'll be fun. Anyways. Let's do, like... Uh... Let's do eight more garlic. Oh, and I do have some rice that I can plant, too. Forgot about that. Let's buy, like, 20 rice. I think I have four in there somewhere. So that's 36. So I need like 28 more seeds of some type. I'm just going to do all parsnips. I'm going to buy like 30 parsnips. Because they're quick, you get a decent return on them. And I need money to buy the strawberry seeds in like a week. Oh, calendar's free now. Oh, today's the mayor's birthday. That's right. I gotta, I gotta give him um, a hot pepper today. And then he'll be maxed out. Caroline, have one of these. There we 
go. Uh, okay. Um, I don't think they sell that stuff at Joja Mart, but I am going to go check. And I can also check Gus's saloon. Again, fairly certain that's not a thing, but I need to know. Since I'm on my horse, we got to kind of go the long way around here. What kind of flooring is this? Decorates the floor of one room? No, I don't want any of that. I don't know what this guy does. Welcome to Joja Mart. How is your weekend going? Membership is now available. With a Joja membership, you'll be able to make improvements in the community with the help of our dedicated personnel for a fee, of course. Oh, and another thing. Mayor Lewis promised us that if anyone else joined up, he'd let us turn that old community center into a Joja warehouse. Isn't that wonderful? Membership costs 5000 Well, would you like to join us? No. If you do that, you cannot do the community center anymore. And I've come so far in it. That was a trash can over here. I've never checked before. Interesting. Just to cover my bases, let's check in with Gus at the saloon. Let's give Steve here this. And I'll give one to Maru as well, because why not? Got an emerald for Penny. She loves it. Does that max her hearts? Damn. Not yet. All right. Gotta give her more things before I can date her. Hey there, it's good to see ya. Thanks. How about you take that? Gus sells beer, bread, spaghetti, pizza, coffee. Recipe for hash browns. How about that? Oh, it gives you plus one farming. That's cool. Yeah, I'll pick that up. Why not? <laughs> I probably won't ever use it. Lucky lunch plus three luck? That's amazing. Wow, you can buy three of them for 500 bucks? Triple shot espresso gives you plus one speed, just like coffee? wonder how easy this is to make. The recipe's pretty freaking expensive. I'm not buying that right now. I'll tell you that much. All right, well, let's get back and actually plant these crops. It's actually getting late already. Time flies in the Childu Valley, guys. All right, so I want... I want these trellises here so that they won't be in anything else's way. Theoretically. Don't know if they need watered again, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then let me take out... Why is this honey always lagging behind the others? That's so dumb. Wait a minute, that one was actually early. That's supposed to... This is supposed to happen every four days. It's only the seventh. I don't get it. Uh, oh, I thought I had four rice shoots. I only have three. Well, that's okay. You know what? I'll throw one mixed seed in somewhere. Actually, I don't know how many of those I'll need. I'm just going to buy a bunch of... Or I'm going to bring a bunch of mixed seeds. So... Let's see... Garlic should go up here, because I only brought eight of those. You're going to need one fertilizer for that. Now 
then I guess we'll just fill in the rest of these with everything else I've got. Oh, I didn't mean to plant that over there. Ah, uh, whatever. It's fine right there. This farm's always been a little hodgepodge anyway. Okay, so I don't even have enough to finish planting all the parsnips, but that's okay. Because now I have some extra for when for when they're done later. Okay, let's see. What else can we do with the time that we have left in today? Probably just chop down a couple trees. Call it a day. Got too many salads in my inventory, so I'm going to stick one in there. Yeah, let's clean up this area around here just a little bit. It's looking a little rough. Try not to clean up the actual grass because that's what my animals are eating, so I want that to hang around. Like all this stuff over here, the actual natural grass that can hang. Except there are a lot of weeds in the way, so let's get rid of those, because they annoy me. Now with the rain tomorrow, and it being a Monday where there's not much else going on, I got another secret note. I didn't even notice that. Um, if we have decent luck, I'll probably run for the mines. Diamond just finished right now. Look at that. And I didn't give the mayor his present today. Uh, you know what? It's okay. He's only... He only needs one more heart anyway. It's really not a big deal. But while I'm thinking about it, I should remember to take those out. And let's read this note. If you can read this, come to Secret Woods. Please bring Maypal Syrup. Okay. Do I have maple syrup right now? I feel like I used all those. Yeah, but I should be getting more very soon. I wonder what that's all about. Bring maple syrup to the Secret Woods. Huh. Oh shit, level 10 farming, okay. So this is a, these are pretty good professions here guys. All crops can grow 10% faster, which, you know, there's a lot to calculate out with that one. Um, generally speaking, I don't think it's crazy helpful because especially because like, I'm not the kind of guy who's gonna sit there and like plan out how long my, crops take to grow. All I'm really concerned about is whether I have enough time to grow a particular crop if we're like, half, you know, halfway into the season, but I'm not like trying to figure out like, okay, I could squeeze this many crops into this, blah, blah, blah. Um, this artisan skill 
makes all artisan goods worth 40% more. So that's like basically all the things that we run through the machines, the wine, cheese, oil, uh, makes it worth a whopping 40% more. This is clearly the winner in my opinion. I'm going with this one. And also, I didn't have breakfast today, so I'm going to be picking away at these Ritz crackers while I play. Hope that doesn't bother anyone. If it does, that's just something you're going to have to deal with on a personal level. The spreading weeds have caused damage to my farm. What? What spreading weeds? It's bullshit. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Neutral luck. All right. Living off the land says, got a kitchen? Cooking is a great way to enhance your abilities. Not only do they provide a convenient source of energy, but many dishes temporarily increase your skills, speed, and more. Smells good, don't it? All right. Hey, the flowers are ready and the honey is ready and it's blue jazz honey. Awesome. I actually got the increase for this. Very happy. So that should sell for a pretty decent amount. Right, let's check mail. Found some good quality stone. Maybe you can build with it or something, George. George gave us some rocks. What a thoughtful man. Cranberry wine is done. why it's being so ornery about me taking it out. I had to click it like 8,000 times. So yeah, cranberry wine counts as an artisan good. So this is going to sell for 40% more than it would have yesterday. So that's actually really great timing. Looks like the, this kale is done now. And so are these tulips. So I have room for 16 more things to plant today again. Um, wow. These all take up space because they're, <laughs> they're all different colors and different qualities, except for these two here. What are the odds of that? So they all have to take up their own spot. Um, these are probably really good gifts for certain people. But I'm going to sell, like, the highest quality ones. And then I'll keep the silver ones. For gift-giving purposes. Although I haven't even been giving out the stuff that I've been keeping. These flowers up here. And I don't really have room in my gift bin for all of these. Oops, I didn't go there. Uh, well, I know I need to give Penny one more of these. Um, hmm. Let's sell some of this high quality stuff. I don't think I'm going to need all of these. So like all the gold quality stuff I'm going to sell. Kill goes there. There we go. Everybody has been pets. There's food for everybody. They'll just take care of themselves today.
Let's see. Vincent's birthday is in two days. I am pretty far behind on friendship with him, so I, sh I really should remember to give him some grapes that day. The wizard wants green algae. So I'll accept that, but I'm almost certainly not going to do it for two reasons. A, my relationship with the wizard's already maxed out. And B, he's only offering 45 gold for algae, and that's just not even worth my time to run down there. So... Um, I should buy some more seeds while I'm here, though. Let's do... Jazz? Should I plant some jazz? Yeah, I should... Yeah, let's, let's, let's plant some more flowers. And, uh... I guess, like, some more potatoes? I don't know. I'm not, like, overly concerned with what I'm growing right now, because all this stuff is just... stuff that, uh... I don't really need. I'm just growing it so that I have stuff to grow, you know? A little bit of income turnaround. Alright, let's run to the mines now. When am I getting married? Well, I've been debating on who I want to marry. Um, in this game, I like Abigail, I like Leah, and I like Penny. Um, I, I, don't, I don't love Haley that much, but I, I do agree that she becomes a better character as you get to know her better. Not a huge fan of Emily. Um, I like Maru, but I've never been, like, interested in dating her for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. Some of the characters in this game just seem, like, too young to be in a relationship. Like, to me, Maru's like a kid, you know? And Abigail's kind of the same way, honestly. But she seems, I don't know, slightly more mature, I guess. I don't know. I can't explain it, guys. But anyway, so I've got I've got Penny up to almost maxed hearts. Uh, once I get that last heart with her, I can give her this bouquet and I can start dating her. So I just need to get it done, basically. Let's take all that stuff. Stow all that. Swap out the ring. Uh, yeah, that's just about perfect. Alright. So where are we at? We're at 110. We can get to 115 today. I always went for Penny, felt bad for her personal life. Yeah, I, I agree. It's nice to kind of get her out of that situation. But also, then you have Pam for stepmom. Ooh, look at that. Diamond right off the bat. That's awesome. This is the first time being in the mine with the gold pickaxe. You can see how quickly I can bust through these rocks now. It's pretty cool. There is still an upgrade beyond this. At least one. I think it's only one left after this. But yeah, gold's pretty good. This will get us through most stuff relatively quickly. You guys see that freaking skeleton climbing out of the wall right there? How spooky is that? Is that what the kids call spoopy? Is that what that is? Makes 
a lot for the white algae. What a valuable drop. So we're finding some decent gold ore. Nice. Emerald. Why? Stuff like that always brings me down in this game. I'm like, I just wish I understood how that works. This is a good floor. Wow, look at this. We're getting really lucky. We're almost to 115 already. Not a huge amount of enemies giving me grief. Finding some valuable stuff. Getting through relatively quick. There's the ladder. Okay, well, let me look over here for stuff. Don't want to miss out on those cave carrots. That's, that's all we got here. Okay. Wow. So we might actually finish this out today. I didn't expect to get through those five floors that quickly. But it seems that the gaming gods have smiled upon the long couch. Look at that! Two geodes and a ladder. Alright. Wow, I didn't even notice there's a ladder right there already. I can't believe how generous they're being. This is a neutral luck day, and it feels like a great luck day. Although the last floor, 119, is almost certainly going to be one of those really annoying spiral floors, so we're going to need some time to get through that one if we make it there today. Ow. Please don't spit fire at me. Ladder! Omni Geode. I can't believe it, guys. This is the best day I've had in the mines in so long. Like, this is just going great. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Just to clear that inventory space, honestly. It's the only thing I care about, really. Bat wing, cold. Purple mushroom. Fire quartz. All sorts of good stuff. this coal, please. Thank you. This dude's coming right for me, dude. He was on a mission. Did you guys see that? He was like, oi, you get back here. We must fight to the death. That's about it for this floor, huh? Wow. Guys, this is by far the easiest time I have ever had finishing out the mines. I can hardly believe how smoothly this has gone. This isn't even the spiral floor layout that I thought it would be. This is actually uh, pretty straightforward. Let's just top off that health a little bit. Because those dudes do hurt when they hit you. Uh, yeah, let's go through those first. Well, actually, no. 
because these restore way more energy and health, so I'll use the smaller ones first and save that. Save the better ones for when I'm really hurt, I guess. And there it is. Guys, mine's complete. 120. And our reward? You found the skull key. You're not sure what it's for. <coughs> but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. Well, that's pretty cool, guys. And we still have time in this day left. I don't even know, like... That's so nuts. Okay. So... There's a lot of stuff in my inventory now. I guess I'm gonna leave a lot of this stuff here. Just because I don't have room for everything right now. Yeah. That's about right. Swap that out. Uh, let's bring back the mixed seeds. There's l literally no reason to have them in here. So. Alright. So you might be... <laughs> <laughs> you might be asking <coughs> God damn <coughs> Sorry You might be asking what we do with the skull key uh, That gets used in the desert It unlocks a new area It's pretty cool I'm not sure when I'm going to go there and check it out uh, it's, it's kind of a thing I don't want to like say too much if you don't know what it is Because you'll see when I go do it, but it's it's a lot like the mines. It's a thing you kind of have to prepare for. So, yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything I need to sell here at the guild. I don't think there is. I'm gonna have to make another trip up here sometime soon to uh, get that stuff out of that chest because now that I've gotten to the end of the mines. I probably don't need to be back up here all that much, if ever, really. I wonder if Linus likes cave carrots. We're going to find out today. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like the cave carrots. Finally found something Linus doesn't like, guys. Took a while. And I never replaced the stuff in my kegs. So I'm an idiot, and I should do that right now. But first, I sell all the diamonds. Might as well sell the rubies. I didn't find anybody who loves them like I was hoping to, so. Sell the shrooms. Uh, I think that's good. I could be smelting a lot of gold right now. That's probably a good idea. Let's do some of that. Okay. And I need eight more cranberries. Trying to be cool and just hold it down and do this as I walk past, but it's not working. So, I'm not cool, sadly. Should throw those in there, I guess. I don't really know. I should have left those in the chest up in the mines, but I didn't. A 
white algae goes in there. I think all the rest of the stuff is stuff I'm holding on to for various reasons. Um, I don't need two emeralds. I only need one. So I'll stash that. Let's go check the fruit cave. We haven't done that for a while. One blackberry. Beautiful. And here's some maple syrup ready for us. This is good. We're supposed to take this to the secret woods. I don't know anything about this quest we've gotten, guys. What is in front of me? I don't even know. There's like a whole other tree here. It's not supposed to be here. Get out of here. You jerks. There's so much stuff in the way here. Okay. Cleared that path. Never remember. Why did I start keeping these in here? Is it because I turned this into sort of a crafting bin? That must have been what my thought process was. I can only assume. Alright. Let's go to sleep. That was a good, productive day. So the blue jazz honey sells for whatever 1960 divided by seven is. <laughs> what would that be like 250 ish something around there? Um, so that's a decent improvement over the regular honey, which only sells for a hundred eight cranberry wines now sells for 25 20. That's with that 40% increase tulips actually didn't sell for a lot, especially considering their gold quality. Kind of hoping that'd be worth more. Well, that's okay. That's a decent chunk of change, guys. It's a good day's work. What is... Oh, uh, right, I forgot about the mushrooms I threw in there. I was like, that's a lot for foraging. soul what's up man welcome to the stream and you're right these things have been screaming at me so we got a question here to bring the maple syrup to the secret woods and then we've also got this quest to discover the purpose of the skull key there might actually be more than one purpose for the skull key i'm not sure um clear and sunny tomorrow And we actually have good luck today. And I should go back to the mines. If yesterday was neutral and today's good. Dude, I've got a new item in stock. It's called the Auto Grabber. This thing can milk your cows and goats, shear your sheep, gather eggs, and pluck your woolly rabbits all on its own. It's considered a luxury item, so I'm charging 25,000 gold for it. Marnie. Okay, so I've never used that item before, but it sounds really awesome. It saves you from having to do the actual labor on your farm. Um, I would really like to get that. But it's a little pricey right now. At uh, 25000 that'd be like all my money. All these parsnips are done already. I feel like they grew really freaking quickly. Cool. 
All right, so that was 48 parsnips. That's how many I need to buy to replace. Well, let me swap out this gold. care of. Let's see. Um, they said yesterday that the weeds had done damage to my farm. I don't know what they were talking about. Uh, probably this right here. Stupid rock fell onto my gravel path. Nightmare ends. I'm so tired of being sick. I can't even tell you guys how tired I am of it. Okay, animals are all accounted for. Now we can let them out to eat. I should really get around to building that fence. So let's. I've got a bunch of regular parsnips already. I'm just gonna sell all of them. And I'm just gonna sell this blackberry too. I was gonna like keep it to take it somewhere. I don't know. It's one blackberry. I'll be fine without it. And I completely neglected to pick this thing up earlier because I didn't care, but I'll pick it up now. Do I want a little hint on where to find the fiddlehead fern? Uh, sure. Why not? It's its birthday's tomorrow. Actually, you know what? I forgot. I, I should probably, instead of just rotating out these, um, parsnips over and over again. I should really plant these mixed seeds while it's still relatively early in the season. How many of those do I have? 31 plus 5 parsnips. So that's 36. I should buy like 12 more parsnips and then just plant all of those. Let's do that. Jody, have one of, wait, no, she hates those, right? <laughs> Did I just go through that? Here, have um, one of these instead. Damn, she doesn't like dandelions either? She hates daffodils and dandelions? What a picky bitch. <sighs> what do I need, 12 more of these, I think? Um, that sounds right. Caroline, I know you like these. Emily, I guess you can have one too. Robin, I've got spaghetti for you.
Now move. <laughs> And while I'm over here, I should really go process these geodes, too. There you go, Steve. Mr. Mayor. Just the man I was looking for. Can you take one of those? Yeah, he still needs a couple more until he's maxed. Ooh, Emily's maxed already, too. Did you guys see that? Nice. A lot of people are max. I didn't even realize. Leah's max. Oh, I could be dating her right now. Shane's maxed? Really? Huh. So, yeah. I've been giving a lot of gifts that I really don't need to, honestly. Sandy, that's going to take a while to get her maxed out because we have to take a trip to see her every time. Yeah, so I really got to start focusing on the people that I've been neglecting up till now. Penny, Clint, Gus, Maru, Linus, Caroline, Marty, Vincent, Elliot, Evelyn, Sam, Jody, Willie. That's so many people still. Secret forest, but only during a certain time of year. Can't be found all year. Oh, wow, really? So it's a good thing that I head down there a couple times a week then. Hopefully I'll get lucky and notice it at some point. Why do you buy parsnips this early in the season? Is it not more worth to buy crops that's more expensive and takes longer to grow? Um, generally speaking, I, I agree with that. Soul, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your full name, so I'm just going to call you Soul. Um, the thing is, I'm coming up on the Egg Festival where I'll be able to buy a whole bunch of strawberry seeds, and I'd like to plant those um, as soon as I get them, because you only get like one or two harvests out of them, since you can only buy them at the Egg Festival halfway through spring. So I just want to make sure that I have some open land where I'll have space to plant strawberries when I get them in a couple days. And since the parsnips grow the fastest, then it's just kind of easiest to do those up front, you know? Did that make any sense at all? It makes sense in my head. Huh, okay. And the Omni Geode. Give me something good, please. That's not a thing I needed. Neither of those are things I needed. But okay. Yeah, and with the fact that I'm going to plant a whole bunch of these mixed seeds, that might end up backfiring on me because those could be anything. Those could end up being like a cauliflower that takes, you know, what what is it, 13 days to grow? So it, it could end up backfiring on me, but I'm going to do it anyway just because I want to get rid of them. They're annoying me sitting in a chest. <laughs> And, you know, what, I'm just going to I'm going to buy pretty much as many strawberry seeds as I can afford. And any that I have left over that I can't plant, um, I'll either save for next year or I'll start growing them in the greenhouse when I get that unlocked. So I have plans. I can't sit here and swear to you that they're good logical plans, but that's my thought process. Um, let's do some more gold. We're going to need a bunch of those bars for upgrades on tools. And... Alright, let's get this started. See how they're all different looking seeds? The mixed seeds. These can basically turn into like anything that is able to grow in spring. You never really know what you're going to get. But yeah, that's perfect. So now they're all out of the way. Uh, let's 
recycling trash. And then let's go to the secret woods. I'm gonna bring a maple syrup and see what happens. After I clean up this shit a little bit. Really didn't mean to dig up all that pathing, but that's okay. Yeah, one just got destroyed, I guess, so it's just gone. Luckily, there's lots of rocks around. There we go. Farm has been fixed. Uh, sadly, I have not gotten any giant crops yet. Despite my best efforts, I have not been able to obtain one. But I'm trying. Oh, wow. What's going on here? It's a bear. Friendly bear, I hope. That smell. Come closer. It's a talking bear, guys. Heh, <laughs> it's not every day I get to speak to a human. Looks like you got a little forest magic in you. Oh. Now, about my note. Did you bring the good stuff? Oh, that smell. This is really sweet stuff. He's so happy. Look at him. <laughs> it's my favorite sauce. It makes me very happy. <laughs> You've made a friend today, dude. Nice. I befriended a bear. I'm the best farmer ever. I got something special I want to show you. The bear left you with his special knowledge. Salmon berries and blackberries are now worth three times the gold? Really? That's fascinating. <laughs> what a weird event. Alright. That's cool, though. So I guess I should just sell salmon berries and blackberries. Usually I save those. Oh, got another one. We got another secret note! 12 o'clock noon sharp. Last day of the season. Check the bush above the playground. What? Okay, there's no way I'm going to remember to do that because that's like 17 days away or something like that. So. Yeah, hopefully, I don't know, hopefully somebody reminds me or something. Um, what you can do with a giant cauliflower is you can actually chop them up and they break apart into more cauliflower than it would have been if it was just you know, nine cauliflower. Because the way it works is you plant cauliflower or giant melons or pumpkins in a three by three grid. And as long as it's in a three by three, it has a very small chance to actually merge into a giant one. And when it does that, you chop it up and it splits apart into, I want to say it's like a minimum of 11 or 12 individual crops but it also has the potential to be a lot more. So basically, it it basically just increases the number of crop yields that you get from it. It's nothing crazy, you know? It's just, it's a fun thing to try and have happen. Because it's such a rare chance to happen that it, like it, it's fun when you actually get it, you know? So, 
So let's see if I have any salmon berries or blackberries hanging around. I think I left them up in the chest of the mine. Uh, yeah. Oh, is today Vincent's birthday or is that tomorrow? Keep forgetting about that. Damn it. Hold on. I got to rush to check now. Tomorrow. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. Marnie, did you already get a present today? Okay, good. Yeah, um... Let's see if anybody's hanging out. Mm, no one I really care about. Well, I do need to make friends with Willie. Willie, do you like beer? He does. He likes beer. Good for him. Wonder if I can find Penny. Is she in her house? Oh, she's in bed. Uh, <laughs> hi there, Penny. <laughs> this isn't weird at all, is it? <laughs> Just like creeping on her while she's sleeping. Here, I got this for you. Okay, never mind. I didn't know that was a thing you could do. I feel a little weird about that. So I think basically, guys, um, I think I'll go up to Robin's tomorrow and I'll see how much that barn costs. I can't remember off the top of my head, even though I just checked it yesterday. And if it's not all my money, then I'll get started on the barn. But I do still want to save a fair amount of money to buy strawberry seeds. I need to be able to buy a big number of them. this spot a little bit. Secret note. Dude, I find these secret notes with such regularity. Greetings, dude. Have you found my secret in the dark tunnel? I look forward to meeting you. Yeah, we already did that. We, uh, we need to put beets in the mayor's fridge. That's where we're at on that quest. see anything behind these trees, so I'm just chopping everything I find. <laughs> Ugh. It's so hard to see. God damn it. Oh! I made butterflies appear. And I destroyed their home. I'm a monster. Of development, anybody? I found some good things by looking in the garbage cans on lucky days. Sometimes you'll find the dish of the day behind the saloon, usually fresh. Really? Behind the saloon? For dessert, I'll check. <coughs> I'll check the Molner's can for cookies. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh. For treasures, check the cans by the blacksmith and museum. Okay, so just check all the cans on lucky days. Got it. Uh, I cannot believe how many trees try to grow here in this spot where I don't want them. It's really kind of aggravating. I'm trying to keep this place clean and clear is a real chore. 
turns out. How do you get the greenhouse built? You have to finish the pantry bundle for the community center. The reward is the greenhouse. So it's all of these individual bundles here. Um, I can't show you what's in these because I've already completed them. The only one I have left is the animal bundle. I literally just need either a large milk or a large goat milk, and I will have a greenhouse. But I can't get those things right now. So let's get to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, you're right. I could make paths there. You know, I hadn't even considered that. That's a really good idea. Um, I had originally built a fence around that area because my understanding was that the fence would keep uh, the wilderness out. But turns out, I think that doesn't work if you actually have trees inside the fence because the acorns and the pine cones fall from the trees. So... That was a flawed idea on my part. I should put some pathing down there. That's actually a fantastic idea. And I will do that. I'm not sure when. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. Although the pathing... The pathing's not like 100% guarantee either, but it is... It's a lot better. I think it lowers the chances that something will... Pop in there when you don't want it. So, okay. <sighs> Leah's maxed out, so I don't even need these salads anymore, really. I should find somebody else to give those to. Nice. Yep. Parsnips are also good because they're so quick. You get a you get a quick return on them. So um, since I'm trying to save up money to buy just a crap load of strawberry seeds, those were also the best crops for me to plant right now, I feel. <laughs> ah, beautiful music. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are in good humor today. Nice. Oh, look at the sprinklers go off. Isn't that great? <laughs> I like watching them. Dude, I made you a little treat this morning in the saloon. Dig in. Your friend Gus. Gus gave us omelets. Oh, what a sweetheart. Go ahead and stick that right in here. That's some decent energy right there. And while I'm in here, let me look for Maki Roll. Don't know if I have that recipe, but if I do, I should make it. There it is. Yes. Fish, seaweed, and rice. Okay, I can do that. Because I have rice growing right now, actually. I have plenty of seaweed. So all I gotta do is bring in a fish. I can make that for the community center. So that's excellent. Uh, do a little bit more smelting. Oops, it's not enough coal. I'll probably do some fishing anyway, because I still need to... Wait, is Sebastian maxed out? He is. Never mind. I don't need to make sashimi for him anymore. I feel like that happens so fast. Also, I left the door open overnight. Ooh. So my animals are out and about. <laughs> Oopsie daisy.
What's the little guy next to the chess? Oh, this guy? He's a... Uh, he's one of the, um... He's a scarecrow. He's one of the eight rare crows. They call them rare crows. He's a... Uh, he's a special scarecrow that you can only get in certain places. Well, the animals that I can find will get pets. The other ones will have to go without today, but that's okay. We're doing a really good job of keeping them happy, so. A new baby duckling hatched, yay! Okay. Titsido, uh, I don't know about that one. Buffy, I love Buffy. Hell yeah, I want a duck named Buffy. That's awesome. Very cool, very cool. Let's see. Do have a duck egg, okay. We'll throw that in the incubator and we'll have another duck someday soon. I feel like I didn't get a lot of eggs today. It's all right though. I wonder if they ever lay them out here. If you leave the door open overnight, will they come out here and lay eggs? Because that would suck, actually. <laughs> Sucko. Sucko the ducko. That sounded wrong. Let's see, is the smelting done? No, okay. All right, I don't want to forget about Vincent. Let's go find him. And the egg festival is in three more days. Very good. Pierre's craving a sunfish. I know where to catch those. Common river fish. Okay. Maybe I can make that happen today. Soggy newspaper. My favorite. Oh, no, he saw me. Hey, Mayor, settle down. Here, have a hot pepper. And just chill out. And the Mayor's Max did it. Don't have to worry about him anymore. So here's Jazz. Where's Vincent? Yes, thank you, Soul. I'm trying to find him right now. Maybe he's in the library? Yep, there he is. Yeah, awesome. That should give us a big boost for him. Yep. He got a big jump there, I think. Uh, Penny. You take that. Yay! She's maxed now, too. So now what we do... What do I do with my bouquet? I had a bouquet. And now it's not in my inventory? Shit. <laughs> I was trying to keep that on me. <laughs> I guess I dropped it at some point. Oh well. Let's try and catch this sunfish for Pierre. Put a fish right about here.
my god, I nailed it. I'm gonna catch one more for the Maki roll that I'm trying to make. Oh wow, dress spinner. Um, I'm gonna sell that. And gold ore is always nice. Let me see if Sam's home, so I can give him this soda. He's not home. Let's see if Kent likes soda. He probably doesn't. Nobody likes this stuff except Sam. Now well, let's let's find out. Ooh. This, they gave this to me in Gotoro Prison Camp. I've been trying to forget about that. Shudder. My bad, dude. Sorry. <laughs> okay. That answers that question. Don't give soda to Ken. Jeez, that's rough, man. Um, so, Pierre's is closed on Wednesday. I don't know where he hangs out. I don't know how to give him this fish that he's requested. or two gifts. Okay. Uh, let's go up and talk to Robin. I gotta check on that barn. Maru, you'll probably like this. Oh, it's only 6,000? That's not as much as I thought it was going to be off the top of my head. I should, uh... I should really do that. Like, today. If I can make it back here in time with the wooden stone, I think I will do that, actually. I must have been thinking of the house upgrade. That's a lot more. That's like a couple thousand bucks. I'm not worrying about anything else right now. I want to get back to Robin before she closes. So wood. Stone. Made it. Okay, sweet. We're getting a barn, guys. And we're gonna stick it down here next to this coop. Is that about where we want it? It's not exactly flush with the pond down there. Let's put it right. That's going to go over the new duckling. Look, he's hanging out right there. I wonder if this will even let me do this. Okay. Hopefully it didn't kill that duckling. <laughs> they have made some vast improvements to the way it lets you place farm buildings. Because like in the past, if you had anything over any of those spots, whether it was just grass a single tree root, anything, you wouldn't be able to build there. Uh, but now you can, which is great. All right. Worms. 
I should get started on building that fence now. But I've got to make sure that there's grass out there for them to eat, too. Actually, no, I can't start that until tomorrow, because if I build a fence around it now, I'll actually be locking them out. <laughs> they won't be able to get back in at the end of the day. I guess I could just leave a gate open. I don't know if they're smart enough to do that, though. that away and then let's make some more of that wooden pathing it's not my favorite pathing but I just need something cheap and easy to put down around the trees over there so I don't know how much of this I'll need let's do like 80 Oh, and I already had 30 in here, too. <laughs> Put that away. And I need to sell this dress spinner. It's actually worth a decent amount of money, and I will almost certainly never use it, so... Screw it. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be an ordeal. But it must be done. I thought those were like rocks there. Okay. Uh... Man, I suck at this. <laughs> Gotta get better at that shit. Just walk down the line, clear this path out. Nice, okay. This is gonna look kinda assy, isn't it? <laughs> I don't care, as long as it works. Wait, there's supposed to be another... There's supposed to be another tree growing right here. It must have got destroyed at some point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Yeah! That's lame. What happened to this one here? It's all clear. <laughs> oak, okay. Um, let's plant another oak tree over there on the side. If I can get. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that worked out so good. That's exactly what I needed. right there. Hmm. 
I'm gonna need even more of these than I thought I did. Yeah, there's still spaces in there we gotta cover. I don't understand why this one's growing so much faster than the other ones. This honey. It makes no sense. Sixty more. It's such a pain in the ass to see in here and see if you're doing it right, but theoretically, this is the last time I'll have to do this. a seed right there. Look at that. How'd that happen? Now, it's hard to tell. I think there's a tree growing right there where it's supposed to be, but then there's also one in the middle there. So get rid of that. And then I, yeah, I think there's a tree growing right there. Hopefully it's the right kind. There's also something growing right there where it's not supposed to be, so. There's one there too. tree. Crap, it is one o'clock. I'm about to pass out and die. Okay. I'm not sure if this is actually done or not, but it, it's close. I gotta go home and go to sleep. At the very least, that should that should keep most of the bullshit from encroaching. Uh, it might not ever be exactly the way I wanted it to be, but you know, it's better. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are annoyed today. Item spotlight, crab pots, boo. Screw crab pots. Experienced anglers know how to craft crab pots. Despite the name, the pots can be used to catch a wide variety of aquatic critters in both fresh and salt water. Just place your crab pot in the water and load with bait. Come back the next day and check on it to see what you caught. You'll need to load it with bait again to catch more. Nope. Screw all that. Hey, I thought it'd be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Here, I have a closed treat for you. Don't tell anyone. But I snagged this from the back room. 
of Jojo Mart ages ago. Okay, see you soon. Shane stole pepper poppers for us. Thank you, Shane. These parsnips are done. So I'm going to not plant anything else here because I want to plant strawberries there. Same with these over here. Egg festival's coming up very soon. Oh, these are done too? Holy shit. Unmilled rice. Oh, I gotta mill the rice myself? I didn't know that. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't have a mill. That doesn't work out very great for me. Garlic. I guess I'm going to store the unmilled rice in here until I can mill it. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to buy rice from Pierre to make that dish that I need. that clinking sound? Did you guys hear that? Oh, I think that's Robin working on the barn. That's logical. And I forgot to close the door again. Not used to having to think about it. <laughs> it's alright. Seems like most of them are actually hanging out right around this spot. So they can still get pets. I was like, why can't I walk here? And then turned out, oh wow, they love to drop their eggs right here where I can't see them. Wonder how long those have been sitting there. That just happened twice. Cool, cool. old Pam getting ready to drive drunk to the desert still two days away from the festival two days is just not enough time to grow anything so gotta leave that spot open all those new spots okay let's buy one rice back and make a maki roll. get Pierre's fish, too. Hold on. I really
really gotta find out where that dude hangs out on Wednesdays when he's not in his store. Maybe he just stays in his house, so like maybe he's just completely inaccessible on Wednesdays. That'd be annoying. Hello dude, so you saw the ad I posted, I really appreciate it. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thanks. And while I'm over this way, I might as well just go drop off this Maki roll, I guess. Before I do something stupid like sell it. When I didn't mean to. Speaking of, where's my bouquet? <laughs> I'll just have to buy another one, I guess. Uh, which one is it? The last one I check. Oh! Um... Oh, I already made that. Yeah, fried egg. We're good on fried eggs. Okay, good. Yep. Everything is good. Uh, let's see. Bouquet. It's only 200 gold, so... It's relatively cheap. Not a huge deal to have to just buy another one. Now let's see if I can't locate Penny, and maybe I'll have a girlfriend by the end of today, guys. She's not here. Okay. Did they not tutor on Thursdays? Maybe they're like playing over here in the woods. Oh, they're having a picnic. Look at this. Oh, dude, it's perfect timing that you showed up. I brought the children on a little field trip into the countryside. You know all about life in the country, right? <laughs> so I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? No, I can't stand kids. That's the true answer right there, but yeah, let's do it. Great. Let me just call the children over. Jazz, Vincent, may I have your attention, please? Look at the way she shouts at him. That's funny. I have a very special guest here to talk to you today. Our very own local farmer, Dude. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Yes, you're very good at memorizing the textbook. Now tell me what that actually means. <laughs> very good. That's worth two star points, Jazz. Yes. Okay, now let's give dude our full attention. Yes, I'm very prepared for this. Country life is all about farming, or it's all about gathering from the wild. More about farming than gathering, I would say. <coughs> the valley's soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables, or the air and grass are perfect for raising animals. Um, this one, I guess. I don't know. They're both good, you know? Yes, Vincent? Um, Farmer Dude, if I eat your veggies, will I grow up strong like my big brother Sam? He's so strong, I saw him lift Miss Penny clear off the ground last night when they were climbing into a tree. That's not so hard. Also, what are you doing screwing around with Sam? Oh, we had something going on, Penny. Vincent, it's not good to gossip. Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. So, uh, Penny, what's going on with Sam? You want to talk about that? It's a lot of work to take care of these kids. But I don't really mind. <laughs> I enjoy seeing them learn, and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Who 
Would you ever want to be a parent, dude? Um... It's a natural urge. I don't think I'd be good at it. <laughs> um, the world's crowded enough already. Me, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Losing it, guys. Losing it. Me, personally, I would say no to a lot of this, but... Penny probably wants to hear that you want a big family. Me, too. I'm glad you feel that way. I'm such a bad person. I lied to her. I'm just the worst kind of person, guys. Lying to a girl just to get in her pants. Well, I'm glad you showed up, dude. I think the kids had a great time. Well, that's great. But I actually would like to talk to you for real. If you would present yourself to me somewhere, please. There's Leah. Should I, should I date Leah, guys? I could date her or Penny right now. Penny FT dubs. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going right now. I was just trying to find Penny. Let's see. This guy's got all kinds of cool stuff here. Official cap. Oh, I like that a lot. Looks like it belonged to a postman or a policeman. Either way, it's still very soft and it smells okay. Great. We can get a Santa hat. <laughs> That'd be really good for winter. I don't want any of those right now, though. Go for Willie. <laughs> Is Willie single? Can you date Willie? Oh, uh, you can't date Willie. Which is odd, because he doesn't seem to have a wife or a family that we know about. He just lives by himself and fishes all the time. Maybe he's just not interested in a relationship. It's understandable. Now the thing is, guys, I think you can date more than one person at a time. And I think it's generally okay to do that. But I also think that if you date too many people at once, they'll start to get mad. Like, I think that there's actually a cutscene you can unlock where, like, if you're dating, like, everybody in town, they all gang up on you and get mad, and they're like, I can't believe you were two-timing all of us like that. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to make people mad. There's Penny. Penny, I see that you're busy, but, uh, you want to date me? I'll accept this. Thank you. Yeah, I'm dating Penny, guys. I didn't know you felt the same. Thanks for making my field trip a success today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So now that we're dating her, that actually unlocks two more hearts, so we have to keep giving her gifts. And if we make her happy enough, one day we can ask her to marry us. And she already has her two for this week, right? Yeah, so starting next week, I can keep giving her emeralds. And hopefully she'll uh, fall in love with me. So let me double check this over here. I want to see if I can see any spots that I miss. Like this one right here. I can't tell if there's a tree growing right there or not. Yeah, we missed, like, this whole path up here. So, we'll just lay it down. Okay, that one's supposed to be growing... Okay, 
Okay, it does let me put a path there, so... Wait. No, oh, that, that spot's supposed to be there. I'm being dumb. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of these trees are ready to go. We're waiting on these two down here. This one hasn't grown at all for like a year. I don't know what it's doing. And then we need one more here, but that one is growing right now. So... Yeah. Get out of here, dog. Alright, I think we're in good shape there now. Wish it was that easy in real life. Yeah, right? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, well I'm not sure what else to do... ...today, guys. I feel like we're making some... Really good progress here. Sucko. <laughs> Sucko the duck. Uh, I think I'll just expend my energy. Secret notes. Expend my energy doing some farm work. It's a page from M. Jasper's book. The creatures known by some as forest spirits or junimos are said to appear in abandoned buildings after they've gone to seed. As a general rule, when humans leave and nature begins to reclaim her territory, the junimos will undoubtedly appear. Folk wisdom holds that the junimos display some kind of resonant affinity with gemstones that are placed inside their little huts. What? Of course, all these claims come from dubious, unverified sources. Dubious. <laughs> Who remembers that? Um, as far as I know, even the mere existence of these creatures has never been proven. Okay. Well, I don't know what most of that means, but... Cool. Our barn should be ready tomorrow. Luckily. So... I will have to go buy a cow. I think they're... Fairly expensive, but it shouldn't break my bank. If they're crazy expensive, then I'll wait till after the egg festival. Isn't that one at the bottom a stump? Oh, wait, you're saying that this one isn't in a stage of growth? You're saying it's a partially chopped tree? That would explain why it has never grown. You're probably right about that. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, because I, I would have never realized. I would have played this game for a million years and not figured that out. So, thanks for that. <laughs> I need another egg corn to throw down right there. What's this? There's clearly a thing right there. Well, whatever. I've got acorns over here, I think. Yeah, so I don't know when I did that. I must have partially chopped that down, but then not finished the job. And just not realized it? Because I'm an idiot? Yeah, who knows? But that would definitely explain why it didn't grow at all. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't want this tree here. Good boy, Rimshot. You're such a good boy. Here, have some water. Alright. Now I'm gonna have to start getting ready to build this fence around here. Luckily, there's actually a fair amount of grass growing here already, so I'm not sure I'll have to worry about planting starter grass. 
people will actually be okay with what we've got here. Y'all back inside? All right, good. Um, actually gonna take these decorations down. Because I might actually move this coop over. I think I'm, I'm gonna reposition both of these to probably be like right next to each other, but center with the pond. So, yeah. want to make sure that the rest of this path is clear so that we can not have to worry about clearing things out when we actually start laying down the fence. I think that'll work. And then I might redecorate after everything's laid down and ready to go. All right, sleepy by time. I feel like a lot of my skills aren't leveling up lately. Which ones are already maxed out? Let me go in and look. <laughs> Farming's maxed out, which is nice. Farming and fishing are maxed. Mining's still down at seven. I'm surprised that's not higher. Foraging is almost maxed, and combat's still at seven. Mm. All right. Let's see, it's gonna be clear and sunny tomorrow, perfect weather for the egg festival. Nice. And today's luck, spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. Mm. Oh yeah. Sweet, sweet, super valuable honey. Top secret, here's the recipe for my famous blueberry tart. Don't tell anyone, I'm giving it to you because we are such good friends. Pierre. Thanks, Pierre. That's kind of ironic because I, I always gave him blueberries as gifts and then he taught me how to make blueberry tart. What are the odds of that? Hello, dude. This item was collecting dust in the tool shed. I figured you might be able to use it. Kent had a cherry bomb collecting dust in his tool shed. Ain't that some shit. Dear dude, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunts. Man, fuck that egg hunt. I lost last year. I'm probably going to lose this year, too. It's harder than it looks. Are these beets? Did I only grow nine beets? Am I actually that stupid? Because I need at least ten of those. For that, for that quest. I should have planted at least, like, 30 beets. Fuck, I might have to, like, emergency plant more of those. Well, I guess I can just do more in the same spot here. It'll be slightly delayed. But that's okay, really. But whenever these are done, I'll just buy nine more. And replant them, I guess. You need nine eggs to win the hunt. Yeah, I think I got like eight last year. I was I was close. But there's like a couple very specific paths you can follow to win easily, but I I never like sat down and memorized it, so. Oh crap, I'm out of water. Look, there's a 
spot to pan right there. I wonder if I could actually do that here. Since my pan is right here, let's try this. I've never done this before, guys. I don't know how this works. Okay. I used it and I got one iron ore. Yeah, that's that's worth the hassle, let me tell you. Well, there you go. Now we can say we've seen it. We've seen how the panning works. Okay, stuff is watered. That got all messed up. Robin's still working on the barn. I thought that was going to be ready today. No biggie. There's no rushing in Sardew Valley, guys. This is a chill-ass game for chill-ass people. Whatever happens, happens. Outside, frolic and be merry. So, let's see what else can we do today, guys. We can go check the traveling merchant. If we're insanely lucky, she'll have some milk we can buy. But I usually don't have that kind of luck, so don't bank on it. <laughs> uh, mostly garbage. Another rare seed, though. I'll take that. Really don't need any of this other stuff. Survival Burger's cool, because it gives you plus three foraging. I don't really know, like, when you would ever need plus three foraging. But I think it also makes a good gift for certain people. Like, uh... I think Steve likes Survival Burgers, or Alex, if that's what you want to call him. So. Probably a couple other folks, too. But I'm not going to spend 900 bucks on it. I ain't about that life, you know what I'm saying? There's too much garbage here in this path to the secret forest. It must be cleared. Why? <laughs> Why would it just randomly stop making contact? I didn't move my mouse an inch. It makes no sense. None. Well, there's a decent amount of forage in here today, actually, but... No fiddlehead ferns. But apparently this is where they show up, and as long as I come here a couple times a week, I feel confident that I will find one eventually. Out of here. Dude, how many of these secret notes are there? They must have a really high drop rate, because I'm just getting them constantly. What the hell is this? Right down, right up, right. <coughs> I have no idea what this is referencing. 
Seems like directions through a maze, but where is there a maze? Something in the center of a red circle. I'll have to file that one away for future use. Hopefully someday it actually makes sense to me. Because right now it does not. Is this another one? Holy gee, I found two of them? I borrowed a necklace from mom, but lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she notices it's missing. Oh. Somebody lost a necklace up by the bathhouse. I should go look for that. Ow. Sneak attack. In fact, maybe I'll do that today, because I don't think I really have anything better to do right now, honestly. Nothing I can think of, anyway. Infinite life and ammo in GTA. <laughs> yeah, it was like secretly the Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Diamond's ready. Free money. look for a necklace, guys. Oh. Hold on a second. Reserve jars are ready. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the game just slightly lagged just a tiny amount. When I came out of that menu, it took like half a second for all of the items in my menu bar to load in. And I've never seen it do that before. It's really odd. Normally this game runs, like, buttery smooth, other than a couple crashes here and there. I've had it crash on me. Like, I think once in the PC version and once in the PS4 version, but I've never seen the frame rate or anything slow down like that. So we've never actually been in here. Um, this is the bathhouse. This is the women's locker room. You can't go in there. Logical. primary purpose of this place is we can actually come in here and we can get in our swim trunks we can hop in the sauna and we can refill our energy but in order to do this you have to get in the water and then you have to sit still and you move really slowly So if I just sit here, you can see my energy going up little by little. You can actually refill it the whole way doing this if you want. It just takes a lot of time. You lose hours in a day just to have this happen. You're much better off just eating food. Because it's not like there's... You know, after a certain point in this game, there's never a shortage of food for you to eat. So I'd never come up here and do this. I'm not sure where to find this necklace. I don't see anything. Did it say it was actually in the sauna? No, it says lost it somewhere near the bathhouse, so it's probably not even in here. It's probably outside somewhere. You see how slowly you have to walk through this? This is why I hate coming up here. <laughs> it's just, it's not worth the amount of time it takes. And I have sort of a pet peeve about being forced to walk slowly in a video game. I, I really hate it. <laughs> in certain games, like, uh, that happens a lot in, like, the Batman games and the Gears of War games. And I love those games. And I deal with it in those games because there's also usually some dialogue going on. It's usually, like, a little cinematic, you know. So it's like, whatever. I get why they're doing this. But like here in the sauna, I don't understand why you have to walk so slowly through it and there's nothing else going on to make it interesting or bearable. 
So yeah. I just don't do it. That's that's my little rant about the bathhouse. I don't know about you guys, I'm not seeing a necklace anywhere. Oh my god. I wonder if it's the kind of thing where like... Hold on, can you go in this tunnel here? Okay. I don't think I can do anything there. Let me click all around back here. No. Let me chop down this tree. Maybe somebody dropped a necklace and it landed in a tree. Because that's how physics work. I still don't know what this thing is. Looks like it's waiting for something to be inserted in there. Can't look in that box. Yeah, I don't know, guys. If anybody has any ideas about where this necklace might be, I'm open to suggestions. I think for now I'm actually going to leave. Oh, snap. Dude, I'm surprised to see you here so late. The night sky looks amazing right now. Come over here, I want to show you something. Here, take a peek. What do you see? A cold, dark abyss. <laughs> uh, a beautiful planet. It's amazing, isn't it? By the time any of these stars are visited, you and I will be long gone. I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? One of the troubles. Dude, um... Never mind. Here, let me show you a binary star system. <laughs> cool. See, it doesn't make sense, guys, because I am such an astronomy nerd. I love astronomy and astrophysics. I have great respect for scientists. I should love Maru. Like, she's just awesome. But for some reason, I, I'd never want to date her. I can't explain why. I, I'm just always like, eh. Am I, like, secretly racist or something? Is this something like that? I don't know. What a beautiful night. Maru showed me something new. That was nice. Uh, we haven't checked out the quarry in quite a long time. Let's see if there's anything new going on over there. All these worms are giving me is rocks. That's all I've gotten for like the last... I don't even know how many worms I've hit. Definitely some, uh, ore up here has grown since the last time we were here. And here's some rubies. That's sexy. Guys, this gold pickaxe just shreds through these rocks. I love it. there's not normally this many trees growing here. 
I wonder why there's so many trees all of a sudden, though. Secret note! <laughs> it's a page from someone's diary. There are only a few older bachelors in town, and none of them are perfect. Harvey is really anxious and weak, but I know he would make a loyal and devoted husband. He likes coffee and pickles. Elliot is a bit foppish and melodramatic. What does foppish mean? But he does have a nice chin. He likes crab cakes and pomegranates. Oh! Okay. Well, at least now I know something that Elliot likes. I don't think either of those are particularly easy to get. I should buy a pomegranate tree. It takes a full season to grow, but I believe... I believe it starts giving fruit in fall. So if I did that in spring, it would be ready by fall. Shane is messy and antisocial, but I think his gruff exterior is a defense mechanism insulating his softness from the world. He likes beer, pizza, and pepper poppers. Okay. Pomegranates for Elliot. That is fascinating. I could probably pull that off. I can probably get one of those planted before the end of the season. I'm just going to clear out a whole bunch of these rocks so that more can grow back in and hopefully they'll be worth more. They'll be like, you know, gems and minerals rather than just regular rocks. Those secret notes are really nice because sometimes it's, it's so hard to figure out what to gift people. You can find stuff they like, but it's really hard to find stuff they love. And, uh, you know, like, certain characters are supposed to, like, give you information about that. But I find that it just happens so rarely. So I like when the notes give you information about that. Scared of dad, maybe? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Demetrius... There is that cutscene when you first meet him where he's like, he's all up in your face about it. Like, man, it sure would be a shame if somebody interfered with her studies or whatever, right? Right. Maybe that stuck with me. I don't know. All right, let's go home. Ooh, neat. Of this crap, honestly. Uh, I should have grabbed that stuff out of that chest while I was up there. Oh well. Let's store that for now. Alright, bedtime. I like how I have three fireplaces in my house. That's very necessary. Good money. <sighs> All right then. Clear and sunny again. Spirits are very displeased today. No, but it's the Egg Festival Day. Dear dude, I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden. I bet you can put it to some good use. Take care. Oh, Jody gave us some basic retaining soil. I know exactly what to do with that. Perfect. These cauliflower are going to be done pretty soon. Same with the beets, I think. Damn it. Oh, it's so hard to be accurate with this thing sometimes.
Should really lay down some pathing around these crops too. Grass is encroaching. Ooh, look at all the parsnips that are done. I'm gonna plant so many strawberries, guys. Someday I will actually remember to close that door. And the barn's still not done, and she's not going to work on it today because it's a festival. Why is it taking her so long to build one barn? I thought it was like three days for everything. She sure is taking her damn sweet time. Whatever. Egg Festival has begun. Alright, before I go to the festival, let's get this soil ready. For strawberries. <coughs> a fair amount of fertilizer, but I've got enough to cover it, so that's not a big deal. the spot up here. And I believe we are now ready. Remember this, guys? Our hens have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow corn. I'm not sure if any of the dialogue changes from year to year. I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. When does the egg hunt start? I'm excited. I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. I think this is all the same dialogue. Yeah, so there's really no point in talking to everybody again. We generally know what they're going to say. Except for Kent. No one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. Linus, you poor bastard. Let's see what Kent has to say. I'm not a big fan of eggs, to tell you the truth. Good to know. He doesn't like eggs, and he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't like soda either. Right. <coughs> so. <coughs> There's a couple of unique decorations here. I don't think I bought these last year. So. I'll just do like one of each of these. And then. Strawberry seeds out the ass. I want like. I want like a hundred of these. So that's, um, that's more than enough to cover the open spots I have right now on my, in my sprinklers. And then I also want to have a bunch on hand for the start of next year and some to have in the greenhouse if I can hopefully get it done soon. So I'm not sure how many more I'm going to need past this, but 
I think they'll all be put to use eventually anyway. So since I have the funds, let's actually do like... Let's do an even 200. I know this is a lot of seeds. We're spending a lot of money on it. And it's going to be a ton of work. But this will pay off for us, guys. I promise. I promise you that. It's going to be a while, but it will. Hey, look at me. I'm a rabbit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do this egg hunt. Actually, okay. Let's let's try and form a plan here. Well, I can't really do it right now because I don't know. I don't know where they're gonna be. All right. We'll just have to wing it and see what happens. Here we go. Time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Now, is everyone ready? Here we go. All right. Uh, there's one. This one right there. It's four. Ooh. I feel like I'm running out of time. Oh, how do you get that one? That's bullshit. Uh. Oh, there's... How do you get to the ones back there? Okay, yeah, there's nine. Can I get ten? Is that one over there? Ten. Ten's got to be good enough, right? I know that's more than I got last year. Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the Gem Sea. <laughs> and now the winner of this year's egg hunts. It's the long couch, motherfuckers. Back from the dead. Vengeance is mine. Suck it, Abigail. Suck it. Here's your prize. Enjoy. Gotta go get ready for a Super Bowl party. I'll catch you later. Have a good day, my friend. Thank you. Same to you, Nappy. Thanks for hanging out on the stream, man. I appreciate it. Enjoy your Super Bowl party. Well, that's it for this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Awesome. And as you guys may have noticed, for winning, we are rewarded with a straw hat. Which is actually pretty nice. That's, that's very good spring wear, <laughs> I would say. So that's always fun. All right. Stick the old fedora in there. And honey's ready. Okay. Strawberry time. It's going to be very hodgepodge because I didn't do a great job of planning out all this stuff. But as long as it's growing, that's really what matters. Farming isn't always about being neat and orderly, okay? Farming is about making stuff grow. Is that all my free spots? I think it is. And that was... Wow. I just planted... 88 strawberries? That's a lot of strawberries, yo. <laughs> 
So the thing that sucks about that is those are only going to be able to grow for half a season. We'll only get a couple yields out of that, but it's still going to be decent money. And I have a lot more seeds now for next year in the greenhouse. So my plan was successful and now I can spend my money again. I think the next thing I do will be the coop upgrade. <laughs> oh, I didn't even water all those spots, did I? Man, I'm a dumbass. Jesus Christ. In my head, they were already watered because they're all by sprinklers, but that's not even true. They weren't all watered. Son of a bitch. Neutral luck. Queen of Sauce is going to teach us how to make hash browns. I already bought this one. Wait, did I? Maybe I didn't buy it. Oh, whatever. This one's simple, but that's a good thing. You'll just want to shred some potatoes, add a liberal amount of salt, and fry to perfection in your favorite high heat oil. Sounds easy, right? Well, I got some pointers that will make your job a lot easier. But yeah, I did. I already knew how to cook hash browns. Damn it. That was money I didn't have to spend. Yeah, see, the spots where it hasn't grown are spots where it, it wasn't actually watered yesterday. So. That's too bad. How many days do those take to grow? Eight days. So these would be done on the 22nd and then probably get one or two more yields after that. Yeah, I'll throw them down here. In these spots that just opened up. They're on the same schedule these other, as these other ones anyway, so... Why not, right? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Still aren't ready, Jesus. How long do they take? Didn't I plant these on the first day? No, it's probably a couple days later, come to think of it. Oh! Cauliflower's ready. I didn't even realize. Um Okay. Well, there you go. We did not get giant crop out of these cauliflower. Buffy, get out of the way. You're preventing me from picking this up. Jeez. That's why we need fences. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to have to buy 81 more and try again, I guess. You guys see how rare it is to actually get a giant crop because this is like maximizing the potential here. There were so many 3x3 three three grids and none of them got it. Oh, uh, let's see. I will keep the regular ones for now. Sell the rest. I hope I have enough money to actually buy that many seeds. I'm not sure that I do, honestly. Because cauliflower is expensive. Oh, and the barn's ready, too. That's weird, because she wasn't working on it yesterday.
Okay. Um, we'll go to Pierre's first, I guess. Hold up. I don't remember what the barn upgrade or the coop upgrade took. So I'm just going to bring a whole bunch of stuff that I think it might take. And then we'll see if I have money for it. Next birthday. Oh, today is Haley's birthday. Hmm. What is she like besides coconuts? We got a note about that at some point, didn't we? to be one of these to Haley and Emily pink cake and sunflowers for Haley gemstones and wool for Emily sunflowers I kept some of those I can give her a sunflower yeah, I was really trying to check the quest but I couldn't click on it for some reason cauliflower seeds are 80 a pop I'm not sure if I can afford 81 more of these actually Seems like that won't be a problem. Perfect. Clint wants 30 copper ores. Okay. Robin, you better be here. Good. Uh, we're looking for the deluxe coop. Oh, big barn is 12,000 in wood and stone. That's quite doable. Deluxe coop is 20,000. Shit. I don't have that much. the next level of the barn. I'm going to hold off for now. That would be like all of my money. And I actually, um, I need to go buy some cows today from Marnie, and I don't think they're super cheap. Oh, pomegranate. <laughs> Look at that, I got one. I can give that to Elliot. train. What is this? You're not supposed to be there. Get out of there. Right. There's actually a lot to do today. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed here. Um, these take 12 days. Okay, I've got to get the cauliflower planted. That shouldn't take that long. Um, yeah, I want to see how much the blackberry and the salmonberry sell for. Because they made a... We got that, that bear knowledge thing, which makes them sell for triple, which is really weird. Yeah. 
And let's take out a sunflower for Haley. Okay. Okay, it'd be awesome if all y'all could get the hell out of the way. I swear to God, I'm fencing you assholes in tomorrow. Yeah, the next barn level will allow goats, which is one of the items I could use for the greenhouse, but I can also just use a large milk from a cow, so I don't necessarily need the goat. In fact, um, assuming I take proper care of the cow, I would almost certainly get a large cow milk before I got a large goat milk. So that's not really necessary for the greenhouse, because I only need one or the other. I don't need them both. event with Marnie and Shane. Hi, Shane. You look unusually happy today. <laughs> You're right. I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. Let me guess. Gus had a clearance sale on canned beer. <laughs> Damn, Marnie cutting deep. Good one. <laughs> No, actually, I've been drinking I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer, and I feel great. Good for you, Shane. You know, I sometimes forget that I really do have friends, people that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. He looks sharp. Guys, everything worked out. It's a happy ending. Hi, Jazz, I've got something for you. Oh, he got her. These are real bunny jewel slippers. <laughs> Little pink slippers. She's so happy. But, but these are so expensive. Oh, did he steal them? How did you afford them? I've cut back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. Okay. That's awesome. And now we have another event with Jazz, apparently. Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said, uh, he said to tell you he wants to show you something. Okay. What's up with these blue chickens he's got? That should do it. Perfect home for you hens. We'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. Fresh and healthy with rich golden yolks, not like those pale sickly Joja eggs. <sighs> you know, Charlie, I was thinking. A guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair. Know what I mean? But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on. I know it. What's wrong? Too much pressure? <laughs> He's relying on chickens to keep him straight. That's a... That's a gamble. <laughs> hey, dude. So, what do you think? My special blue hens. I've been raising them in secret for the last few months. I... Well, I won't be living here forever, and I wanted to pass something on to Jazz. I've been teaching her how to care for them. What the hell is a blue hen? 
I want to feel like I'm not just a leech on the world. I want to contribute somehow, even in a small way like this. <coughs> okay. I'm very confused about how the blue hens work, but sure. All right, so we can now buy cows. Oh, they're only 1,500? I really thought they were more than that. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of these right now. Like, probably as many as the barn can hold, which is four. We want a cow named Whack. <laughs> the Whack Cow. I'll send little Whack to her new home right away. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, I forgot to move the... the coop over when I was talking to Robin. Catchers, no. Uh, Jochley, that's kind of hard to say. Mitsubu, I kind of like that. <laughs> I'll send little Mitsubu to her new home right away. Going hard, guys. We're filling up this barn. It's an investment. The milk will pay off. Cack? No, thank you. Uh, Shernard? I kind of like that. Shernard. And then one more. Sorry, I forget that I can scroll faster by going to the edge of the screen. Betcho? Sure. Betcho is good. And then we're going to need a milk pail to actually milk them once they're ready. Ornamental hay bale? Oh, that would look good around the barns. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get like 12 of them. Cool. Okay, we gotta go this way and look for Haley, right? We gotta give her a present today. There's Emily. You're not good enough friends with Haley to enter her bedroom. Damn it. I wish I could tell if she was up there. Hold on. She's not. Okay, she's out and about somewhere. really cool to catch her before she went home and locks herself in there, but I don't know where she hangs out. That's Harvey. Maybe she hangs out up here? Found her! Awesome! My sister is so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. She's talking about Emily. Alright, so I want to I want to confirm this here. I think we should get two full hearts for giving her this on her birthday. She's got one right now. If I give her this. She loves it. You remember my birthday? I'm impressed. Thanks. And she's now at... Wow, she got three hearts from that, actually. Very good, guys. We did good. Let's go try and find Elliot. And also, let me see how much a pomegranate tree is. I don't know how much money left, but still. Pomegranate sapling is 6,000, and that does start growing. Uh, it starts bearing fruit in the fall. So I should really aim to get that done before the end of this season, before spring is over. That's doable. 6,000 is not a ton of money at this stage of the game. There's Elliot. Let's see if he actually loves these. He does. And I got an achievement. Dude, this is a beautiful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. What's that achievement for? It's called Popular. 
Reach a 5 heart friend level with 20 different people. Everybody loves me, guys. Hello, I hope your new farming life is uh, panning out as you'd hoped. Thanks. Ah, get out of here, Mayor. Idiot. Oh, I should probably say hi to my girlfriend. I've been trying to keep our place clean, but it always gets messy again. It's hard to run a household all by yourself. Well, tell your mom to stop drinking so much, and then she could help you out. Okay, uh, let's go home and pet our new cows. And maybe... No, I gotta move the thing over before I start building the fence. Damn it. Should have went up and did that today, but... I'm just too busy. Love how you can see him. <laughs> Come back home. Yeah, you know, I guess... Since they all come back at the end of the day, even if you leave the door open, you could just wait until the end of the day to pet everybody and make sure everybody gets the care and love that they need. What's up, cows? Do you like your new home? I got two white and two brown. How cool is that? And I'm almost certain we can't milk them yet. Trenard is too young to produce milk. Yeah. They're still babies. Trenard seems curious, but a little cautious. She's getting used to her new home. Understandable. There's some food for you. I don't think everybody's back inside yet. What do we got? One, two. Oh, no, they are. That's seven. That should be everybody. Today, they get closed. <laughs> What's up, dog? Do a little clean up here. Hay decorations I will store in here. I will use those once I get everything squared away with the positioning of the coop in the barn. Oh, now that I've got a lot of this squared away, I should build more tappers for these trees. How many do I need? This tree is not supposed to be here. No! Fuck. Swing up. Thank you. There we go. All right, one, two. So hard to see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think I need like fourteen more tappers right now. I think. <laughs> And those take 40 wood and two copper bars. Wow. Well, I don't have that many copper bars. 
Though if I smelt one real quick, I could have enough to make six. Then I'm gonna be out of copper. And 40 times six is 240 wood. That is a lot of wood, but you know what? I've got it. This thing should be done in just like a second here, so. Just gonna wait it out. There we go. Didn't take out the other copper bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not sure which of these is the most valuable. I think maybe the maple is, the maple syrup. sure why it won't let me place these maybe I have more than I thought I did it's so hard to see guys okay well there they're all doing something now at least check on what it takes to make kegs again. I could use a lot more kegs. Oh, it takes copper and iron. Crap, I gotta go get more copper. How much iron do I have? Seven. Mm. Yeah, we might have to take a trip to that new place soon. It's really intimidating. Let me go, uh, I'm gonna go clean out that chest in the mine real quick. And you know what, the slingshot's staying here. I'm not even bringing it. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it in my inventory. You sell all these blackberries so we get three times as much for them and the holly. Uh, I guess I'll bring those along. I guess. And then I gotta make sure I have enough wood on me to build a chest when I get to that new area. Here's my bouquet. I left it up there, apparently. I'll give that to Penny at some point. Speaking of Penny, let's take out two gifts for her. Two sunflowers for Haley. Two grapes for Vincent. Two sodas for Sam. Good enough for now. Yeah, I'm not sure when I'm gonna go to that new area, guys. It'd be great to wait for, wow, what did I put in here? Oh, it was all the cauliflower. <laughs> 35 silver, 31 gold. That's a decent chunk of change right there. Nice. Yeah, it's, the new place that we can go to is, it's a lot like the mines, but it's a bit trickier. <laughs> Spreading weeds have caused damage to my farm. That's great. 
uh, because you're more limited in time because you got to take the bus to the desert and yada yada. So you really got to plan ahead. You should have rain and you should have decent luck. If you're gonna go, it's it's like it's even more important than it was for the mines, I feel. And I keep getting sunny days with shitty luck. So it's just like not working out. Salmon berry season. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with juicy little berries and they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. It's true. Maybe that's what I'll do today. Ooh. Ooh, all that stuff's done. That's good. We can finally finish off the bok choy that we've been working on for so long. <laughs> Dear dude, I'd like to surprise my husband with a gift. He's a big fan of leaks. Could you bring me one? Um, sure. That'll actually help out uh, Granny instead of George, so it's a good thing to do. But I got rid of all my leaks, didn't I? Because I was like, I don't need these anymore. And I think I just sold them all off. Well, that's unfortunate. I should be able to find one somewhere, though. Take care of farm stuff. Ooh, these are done. Blue jazz. What else is done? Random potatoes. All this unmilled rice. sure if I or I should replant stuff there but I'm not sure what to plant honestly at this point it wouldn't be worth planting more strawberries I don't think I could just do a bunch more parsnips I might have some more wild seeds I could plant I got six. Okay. It's decent. I sell all those. these down randomly here. That actually worked out really good. That was exactly the amount I needed. <laughs> and then I need one, two, three... 22, so 25, 26? I think I need 26 crops to fill this stuff in. Sounds mostly right. Damn you. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Uh. 
Cows aren't going to be quite grown up yet. But I'm going to craft a chest to stick in here. Solely for the purpose of keeping my uh, milk pail in here rather than carrying it around. That way I just know that it's there every day. And we'll make this white for milk. <laughs> Great. Actually, I don't, I don't like that placement there. That looks bad. I know it doesn't actually matter, but I want to move it. That's better. Okay. Now I need to build another chest. Now I'm going to take a trip to the desert. I don't really want to make a full day out of it, but I do want to just go there. Oh, there's a leak. Nice. I want to drop off this stuff. And maybe we'll do like a couple floors and just see if we can find anything good. Now, I still got to plant those crops. I don't even know if I'm going to have time, honestly. Let's see what we can make happen. Here's your leak, Granny. Oh, thank you, dear. This leek looks delicious. George will be so happy. He loves when I make eggs with leeks for breakfast. Eggs with leeks, huh? I'm surprised you want to be friends with an old-timer like me. Old-timers rule, man. As long as they're not, like, super-duper cranky and hate everything. But even that's kind of funny sometimes, if we're being honest. Snag the money for that. Let's buy some seeds. What did I say? 26 was the number I needed? I think that's what it was. Ooh. Sam, I got this for you. A lot of folks out and about today. Probably just going to mostly stick to planting parsnips from here on out. Just because I know that they're quick to grow, and there's a decent return on them. They're pretty straightforward. Oh, shit, I forgot about these squares here. Damn it. Ugh. Actually, I'll probably grow some more blue jazz there, because I only kept the one. So let's do, like, eight more of those, I guess. Seeds. Uh, is that what I want? Yeah. Not sure when I'm gonna get the chance to do a real run at this new area, but I'm gonna go over there now and I'm gonna drop off a lot of this stuff. Let's take bread, baked fish, 
basically anything that's not useful for gifts or giving me some other kind of advantage that I might want in a specific scenario, um, I'm going to take along with me. I think I can make more pale broth to bring. With the white algae, yeah. Mix up a couple of those. A couple of thems, perfect. I've got the wood for the chests. All right, let's get over there. Almost rode right past it. <laughs> Let's take a look around for forageables. Oh, actually, um, is Sandy the one who sells beet seeds? Bar, beat, yeah. These are only supposed to take six days. Did I not plant any of these? Am I actually that dumb? Because I need a bunch of them. Rhubarb must have been what I planted on the far left side, but where did I plant all the beets? Oh, these grow in the fall. That's why. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, so I can't, I can't even do that yet. buy a bunch of star fruit while I'm here though and we'll wait on that I should probably do a barn upgrade first or a coop upgrade all right so this cave area up here it's got a door with a skull on it we use the skull key it's a perfect fit. We can now get in there. I'm gonna drop this chest right there. Dark red for super spooky. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what all I wanna bring along. I, this isn't gonna be like a real run, guys. But I should make space to pick up some stuff if I happen to find it. So let's drop all that stuff. This is a tough area, so let's increase our attack. Uh, we definitely want to bring the bombs. I think that's good enough. All right, so this is Skull Cavern. Very similar to the mines, but there's actually no ending to this area. Um, it's basically just an endless line of floors that have tough enemies, they're supposed to have good drops. You can see how strong this son of a bitch here is. Um, the main purpose in coming here is to get Iridium Ore and iron uh, and Omni Geodes, which are the best kind of Geodes. And the way it works is the deeper you get, the more likely you are to find Iron Ore. So it's actually not to your benefit to like clear out every room. You want to move down as quickly as possible. These guys are strong as hell. They suck. I hate them. Be careful when those guys are coming at you because you'll die very fast. Like so fast, it's not even funny. Secret note. It's a page from Abigail's diary. Things I love. The smell of carved pumpkin, keeping an amethyst under my pillow, chocolate cake, the thrill of spicy eel, and the comfort of mom's blackberry cobbler. I like to eat. So do I, Abby. So do I. Oh, God. 
Um, these flying things over here are actually indestructible as far as I know. I'm pretty sure there's no actual way to kill them. I don't know why they exist, really. See, oh my god, I'm freaking dying. Oh god, oh god. Oh shit. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm so close to dead. You see how deadly that place is, guys? It's nuts. So, yeah, I, I found uh, one Iridium Ore. <laughs> That's great. Um, most of the food and stuff I'm going to keep here. For later. I need to find, like, a... I wish I could find a Prismatic Shard. Then I could bet... I could get the best sword in the game. But they're very rare to find. Honestly, this place is like the best shot you have of finding one, but you have to survive long enough to make it happen. I was on floor two and I almost died. So, that's how that place goes. It's really fucked up. Okay, we'll keep the bombs and the food. Cave carrots can stay. I think that works out. Yikes. So I better make sure I don't run into any more enemies today. <laughs> or else I'm just going to be dead. Artifact Trove. I don't know what this stuff is. I wish I knew. These troves often contain ancient relics and curiosities. But you have to trade Omni Geodes for this, so I can only assume that these artifact troves give you a better chance of finding the, the artifact museum stuff that you haven't found yet. Because technically you can get everything you need from the Omni Geodes, but the chances are just really low for the more rare stuff. So I would hope that the chances are higher for the artifact trove. But really, that's just a guess. Blueprints for crafting a warp totem to the desert. Oh, that'd be... Wait, if this lets you warp to the desert, does that mean you'd have to warp back too? Because if you didn't ride the bus here, then the bus wouldn't be here, right? Not sure how that works. For other stuff. These worms aren't worth shit anymore, man. All they give me is clay and stone. That, like, that's it. Yeah, I'm leaving. Skull Cavern kicked the shit out of me. Yeah, so, um, there's also... In Skull Cavern, in addition to the ladders which take you down one floor... You will sometimes find shafts, which can take you down multiple floors. I think it's like, I think you're guaranteed at least two or three, and it could be as much as like eight or nine. It just depends on how lucky or unlucky you are. So... Um, I think most people... I think the farthest anybody has gotten that I'm aware of without cheating or anything is like floor like eight or nine hundred on a single day. And that's with like everything going perfectly. <laughs> um, actually, that, that's probably a little high. I know that like when people mod the game, they can set it up so that they're able to go like really deep into the mines and see like how far the game actually allows it to go. And it's a really high number. It's like thousands of floors you can technically get to. Um, without using mods and cheating, I want to say you're probably only going to get like a couple hundred floors in each time. I don't know what the record is. It's probably a really high number, but on average, you're probably not going to make it more than 
a couple hundred floors, and that's on like a really good run. So that's how that works. But like I said, with every successive floor, you now have a better and better chance of finding really good loots, specifically the iridium and omni geodes. Everybody's home. And everybody's home. Good. All right. We should really get serious about that fence. But I need to move the barns before I do that, so... Try and remember to do that tomorrow. Okay. I actually have a... I still have a fair amount of energy to burn today. Let's do a little tree chopping. Oh, nice. Dude, those produce quickly. Didn't I just add most of these? And they're already ready? Very cool. I don't like having the health yell at me like that. <laughs> you guys see my health bar? It's like, it's acting like it's in severe pain. Just keeps shaking and like, sweating blood really messing with me. So much garbage down here. Uh, with tomorrow being Tuesday, is Tuesday the aerobics day? If it is, that means that Robin won't be there when I want her to do my building work. And that's gonna annoy me. Hmm. Well, we'll just have to see. Okay, I actually need to bring my wood with me tomorrow when I go up there and my stone. Don't need both coconuts. Haley already had one gift this week. All right, let's go to bed. Probably gonna do one more in-game day and then call it for the stream, guys. We went through a lot today, man. <laughs> We've made some progress. That's good stuff. Partially cloudy with a light breeze, expect lots of pollen. Where's the rain? There's been like no rain. And spirits are somewhat annoyed. Oh, weird. Who saw that coming? 
that my luck would be not positive. That's, that's so weird. I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Well done. I've got a better... I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of money to send if you can do it. Nice. Your friend, Mr. Key. Hi. Level, uh, floor 25 shouldn't be insanely hard to do. You just gotta have the right circumstances. You need a good luck day. And you need... A little bit of rain, so you don't have to do as much farm work. Just basically need the planets to align. Hey, rhubarb's ready. Look at that. I doubt I'll replant that, honestly. Just wanted to be able to sell a couple and keep a couple. That's all. regular ones, that's perfect. We'll sell those. Store the two regular for quests or whatever may pop up. A new duckling hatched! Yay! This one shall be called Snumbus. Snumbus the duck. Beautiful. It's a circle of life, guys. Oh, look at this! I got a duck feather! Yay, my ducks are so happy, they're dropping duck feathers now. Duck feathers are relatively rare. I'll probably get a fair amount of them, honestly, because I have so many ducks now. Um, I think they sell for a lot, and I think you can... I think they make decent gifts for a lot of people, too. I'm not entirely sure who. I'm not sure if we <laughs> if we need it for We already got the one in the community center. What when did I do that? I must have like bought one and dropped it off there. So okay. I'll probably just sell this one then. Where's all my eggs? I only got four eggs. There's eighty you bastards in here. Somebody's slacking off. I don't appreciate it. You know what? You're staying inside today. That's your punishment for not making my eggs like you're supposed to. Just kidding. I'll let you out later. But I'm not happy about it. Clay and rocks. Clay and rocks. That's all I'm allowed to get. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious how much a, a gold star duck feather sells for. I'll probably forget to look. Right, and we're past the 15th of the month, so there's going to be salmon berries everywhere. Might as well grab them and sell them if I see them. And you know what? I'll, I'll even give one to old Linus here. It's just for you, buddy. I wouldn't do that for anybody else. Only for you. And she's not there. Ugh. Why is the timing always got to work out so bad? All I wanted to do was take care of my barns today. That's 
all I wanted in this world. Robin, you suck. Why don't you have your husband man the store while you're not there? Or your daughter? Or Sebastian, he doesn't do anything. He's just sitting in his room jerking off all day. That's not true, because he does the, the website design for people. But still, he could help out. One day a week, he could, he could help out, right? Clint, you're not getting your copper ores. I'm sorry to tell you. Let's give this cactus fruit to somebody in here. Maybe we'll get lucky and somebody will love it. Jody, you hate like everything I've given you lately. She likes cactus fruit. All right. Robin, you suck. Robin, you suck. Robin, your store is fucking terrible. Robin, you suck. Robin, you suck. Robin, you don't do anything of value. Robin, you suck. Upgrade my barn, but instead you go and do your bullshit exercises. That didn't really lead anywhere. Sorry. All right. Let's sell these salmon berries. And, uh... Why I'm carrying around these extra sunflowers. Let's go try and give some gifts away. Did I bring a I should bring a emerald for a penny. Wait, did I ever did I get her already this this week? No, I didn't. She needs a gift. It'll make her happy, guys. And I'm all about making my girlfriend happy. Even though I haven't talked to her for like the last week. Vincent, you get one of these for being such a good kid. Penny, I love you. Have an emerald. Jazz. I, I don't have anything for you. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I have a lot of money again. Let's go buy that pomegranate tree. Gotta figure out where to put it. In fact, let me look through these. Um, oh, look at that sports wallpaper. That's kind of cool. So we know we know we want pomegranate. Um, I'll grab one of those. We also have cherry. They bear fruit in the spring, apricot in the spring, orange in summer, peach in summer. Apples grow in fall too. Perfect. We're doing an, an apple tree and a pomegranate tree because these will both be ready by this fall. And I'll finally get my third apple for the uh, community center. I'm buying an entire tree just to plant for that purpose. How funny is that? So the thing about these, though, these work a little differently from the regular oak and pine trees. You have to keep the spaces around them perfectly clear or else they won't grow. And also, I don't think I can really, like, move it once it's grown. I don't think. So you really want to, like... You know, I think you want to put it in a spot where you're okay with it being long-term. I don't think they'll be there forever. 
because eventually once the greenhouse is done, I'm going to put all the fruit trees in there so that they're safe and out of the way. But for now, I think I will stick these two fruit trees right up here. They'll give a little shade for the dog. And I can see them quite easily, make sure that nothing's obstructing them every day. So I'm thinking like... Let's, I'm going to bring them down just a wee bit because they're going to grow up and I don't want them to completely obfuscate what's going on back here. So I think like right here... I'm committing to that. And then this one. Okay, so this spot has to be free. This spot has to be free. It can go right here. Let's spread them out a little farther, though. Is this the right spot? Yeah, that'll look decent. That's that's mostly symmetrical, I think, with everything else I have going on here. Okay. And then I should... I don't know if it'll matter, but... I should put, like, some kind of pathing around them, just so it looks a little neater. Even if it doesn't necessarily protect them. I really like the cobblestone path. Crystal floor is kind of nice too. Uh, really wish I had that wood flooring. Where do I get that from? Okay. Well, it's going to be cobblestone for now. I can always change it later, honestly. It's not that big a deal. Nothing is forever in this game. Always redo the thing you're doing. It might take a little bit more time that way, but you can do it. That's too close. Hold up. There we go. So hopefully this little ring of cobblestone path here <laughs> keeps everything out. The immediate eight spaces are clear. We don't have to worry about watering them either. They'll just grow on their own as long as the space is clear. So, all right, not bad. have any other leaks so I'll hang on to that one right there in case I get another quest for it but I am selling that and let's store the pathing where have I been keeping the other pathing did I use all of it I'll just stick it in there I consider it the same kind of material as the decorations so that makes sense in my brain. Okay. Farm's coming along, guys. Looking pretty sexy, in my opinion. Actually, it's really haphazard and... <laughs> not logical at all. I did not let the animals out at all today. It's probably too late now. Yeah. Oh, well. They have food in there. They'll be fine. Speaking of that food, though, uh, let's scythe up this grass to refill our hay until it's full again.
I have no idea how much I need. Is that it? 36? That seems to be it. Okay. Silo's full. And I think we can actually check on that to confirm it. If we just walk over here and click on it. Good. Spiceberry, salmonberry, and a cherry. I was really hoping that'd be an apple. That would have been funny. You know what will happen, guys? I'll find an apple in there on, like, the last day <laughs> of summer. That'll be my luck. Like, the day before the tree actually starts producing apples for me, that's when they'll just throw one at me. You watch. Mark my freaking words. Mark them, I say. Did you guys mark them? Thank you. Uh, that grass is staying, actually. And... Let's do a little bit more work in this area. I should really get my axe upgraded. I don't really need it, honestly, but eventually you want to have everything upgraded, right? Actually, the hoe would be way more useful than the axe at this juncture. Maybe I'll do the hoe first. Ho. Use a hoe. Use a hoe. I said that use a hoe. Hey. Why? Just swing left, for the love of God. Gonna take care of these two trees here and then we'll go call it a day. That is a good, honest day's work right there. I feel all right about that. Gonna keep the stones on me for tomorrow. But I can store the coal. Sleep. Played through a fair amount of spring today, guys. So the duck feather, you know, that is not nearly as much as I thought it would be. 187. I mean, you know. It's something, I guess. But for how rare these drop, I feel like that would have been more. These probably are better used as gifts. So maybe that's what I'll do going forward. And then the salmon berries... 21 sold for 336. Is that? 
How much is that? I'm terrible at mental math. It's like, uh... Is that really three times as much as it was before? That's saying that before it would have only been like 110 for 21 salmon berries. That means they're only worth like five gold. Now they're worth like 15-ish. That kind of sucks. But no, uh, I guess it makes them slightly more useful than they would have been anyway, so. Cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this stream, I think. Uh, <laughs> going to go rest my voice. Uh, if you're not familiar, um, Stardew Valley is what I stream weekend mornings, so Saturday and Sunday mornings. So I won't be doing this again until next Saturday. But when we come back, um, I'm going to try and get the, the barn situation squared away, get them where I want them, get the fences built. And then... Um, I'm not sure where we're going to go from there, honestly, because this is we're kind of getting to the point of the game where I usually tap out. Like I've played to a, around this part of the game many, many times, but I don't usually get farther than this. So like, I don't know, maybe we'll focus on Skull Cavern. Uh, maybe we'll look at some other buildings we can construct. We should get our house upgraded at some point. There's still a ton to do, but it's stuff that I'm less familiar with. So we'll have some figuring out to do as we keep going but anyways thanks a lot for hanging out on my stream guys i appreciate you uh mr nappy soul kvitter sorry however you say your name thanks for hanging out thanks for helping me out with stuff guys i hope you had a blast and i will see you next time take care